in honor of the great writer Carlo Collotti. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Oh? Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to a first look of Lies of P. Not generally my type of game, I don't think, according to what I know of it. It's a uh, Souls-like, it's got puppets, Pinocchio, and the main character looks like Timothy Chalamet. That's pretty much all I know. And I've been meaning to check this game out, but I've been busy. Things have just been... it's escaped me until now, basically. But... Yeah, I want to check this out and just see if maybe... Hey, maybe this is the kind of thing I actually enjoy. One disclaimer though, I've never played a Souls game before. Like any, any kind of Souls. So I guess we'll see how I fare here, huh? Although I have heard that this has a interesting story too, so maybe we'll see. I, I can see that we're not going to get much of an introduction here. A butterfly landed on me and then now I'm going to go do stuff. Okay, sounds good. Left arm of steel. Butterfly lady? Am I on a train? I'm not real. Wait. One arm is mechanical, but the other... Oh, I'm real. I'm real. Uh, half real? I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Jiminy, Sophia, all right. Upper belt, lower belt, square. Equip items and gestures on the belt to use them. Uh, hold down and activate the extra bag. What? Up, down, left, right, okay, okay. I feel like maybe there are some standard things that people already know from Dark Souls and stuff. Like, I kind of recognize the, um, the bottom left corner of the screen. The little squares and stuff, just from screenshots I've seen. But I've never actually played any game that's like this before, so uh, we'll see how this works. Oh, my left arm of steel! I pressed L2 earlier, did the... is that like a durability or...? Oh no, it's gone! <laughs> that bar's going down, I don't know what it means, but it's going down. I don't think that's a good thing. Okay... I'm trying to press all these buttons here to see what they do. Upper belt. Pulse cell. Lower belt. Grinder. Monad's lamp. The lamp that I just picked up. Extra bag. Last resort. So that's my equipment screen. And then I've got a bag here. I don't know what these are. These are probably like something... Like DLC or something? Christmas stuff? Okay. Okay, pulse cells are health potions. There's a maximum amount of times the pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. What does that mean? Oh, like, I can't use it anymore. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, the pulse cell will gradually be charged. Oh, okay, that's what it means. Oh. Oh, so if you finish using HP potions, if you attack people, you can get more back? Or you can kind of make it come back a little bit. Pulse cells are ergo cells that power the P organ. They work with stargazers and they can also convert the energy from an attack's impact to recharge. Okay, all right. Mm. Why don't we just let it take us through for a bit? Here I am. Huh. I, I wouldn't believe it if you told me they didn't take any inspiration from Timothy Chalamet for this. <laughs> it looks exactly... The hair, it's the hair. So I, I gotta go to the Hotel Krat, did you say? Well, how closely do I have to be looking around? Do I wanna like... I'm trying to figure out if there is a run. Maybe not right now. Oh no! Oh, I just used that again. Oh, that's... 
<laughs> Probably not good. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Something shiny in the distance. Some symbols here. V. I have no idea what kind of setting we're in, aside from Pinocchio. Like a Victorian kind of setting? But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Select the combat style. Path of the Cricket, balance. Path of the Bastard, dexterity. Path of the Sweeper, strength. Switch display. Both power and speed, quick and nimble, heavy combat style, cuts down enemies with great physical strength. Um, off the top of my head, I'm, I'm thinking maybe heavy combat style. I like the more health. <laughs> and you know, the older I get, I feel like the less nimble I am too, so maybe not this one. <laughs> um, sure. Oh, it sounds like this is a thing that you can't really... This is set. You can't change it. Okay, I'm looking at the top right right now. Guard. Dash. Lock on. Extra extra bag. What is extra bag? Uh What what in the world am I doing? Oh my god. Alright. I don't have a different weapon to switch to. Okay. Oh my left arm of steel, the bar came back. Okay, sure. <laughs> I think the primary thing I need to remember right now is dash, right? Yeah, and, and roll and stuff. Okay, okay. Um, the door to get out of here? Yes, it's here. I'm so... I feel so out of my element right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Take it all in. I can see why they need help. Everyone's dead already. Am I the last person to get off this train? Someone's there. Pratt Central Station, rainy night. So what is my... I'm trying to figure out which is the attack button, naturally. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me? Hello? Okay. I can lock on. Normal attack, special attack. Try things out. Huh. R1 for attacking? Is that like a souls kind of thing? Feels like a very foreign button to me for attacking. Oh god, kill it before, before it gets up! It's dropping stuff. What's the- So it's my understanding that the, the one thing that sets Souls games apart from other ones is that the- you do need some dexterity. Like, you can't mash buttons, it's gotta be more strategic than that. And I can only assume that the beginning, it, they're treating me nicely right now, which is why it's okay, but getting good is gonna be a necessary thing. <laughs> but they, this, wait, those guys were... You guys are robots too, aren't you? Puppets. Yeah. Maybe this is some kind of world where having puppets is just a normal thing. I'm the good puppet. They're the bad puppet. And the bad puppets are killing people. Pulse cell. Recover HP. Yes, yes. So if I'm dying, I got hit a little bit earlier already. I got three pulse cells. I don't know what that square thingy is. Huh. I think they'll tell me though, judging by the pop-ups we've had so far. Dead people. Blood. So not puppets. 
Hello. Okay, you want me to... Ow. I'm just gonna... Testing, testing things. I'm already dirty. Oh, hello! I like your little sign. Very cute. Dim Ergo. This is... Money, I guess. The Grand Exhibition. Crat. We don't know what the era is. It's crossed out. Maybe like 1600s? The Grand Exhibition. You gonna wake up? Okay. Someone's... Someone's behind the gate. And they're walking around menacingly. Is there any kind of map? I don't know. Oh, it looks like weight is gonna be an issue, just looking at the top right there. I can't carry a whole bunch of stuff on me. Okay... Yeah, let's just maybe walk around and figure this out. Can I open everything? No. I'm wondering how much the pulse cells heal too. Maybe I'll hold off for a little longer. The station employee has the train station keys. Okay. So we gotta go ask nicely for them, right? Excuse me, Mr. or Miss. Do you have... Do you, perchance, have the keys? Oh boy. Guard L1. You can block enemy as attack. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage. But it'll consume stamina. Stamina is the, the green bar. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates but gradually decreases over time. When you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. Okay. So what this is saying is if we block successfully, we'll have a constant guard regain, which means if we attack people, we can get HP back. So this is the kind of... This favors aggressive playstyles then, right? Because it's saying if you keep turtling, if you keep going away, your guard regain will drain. Even if you kill people at that point, you're not gonna get HP back. You wanna be more aggressive. Perfect guard. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard, like a parry. When perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. Okay. Oh, wait, so... If you don't do it perfectly... Ah, reduce damage. You still get hurt. Oh, that's why- that's why I got hurt, because earlier I tried dodge- or I tried blocking. But it doesn't- it doesn't block everything. You can use perfect guard to destroy an enemy's weapon, or put the enemy in staggerable status. Okay. But it's scary then. The infinite problem I always have with dodging. Oh! Talk later. Okay. Ooh. The infinite problem I have between choosing between dodging versus parrying is if. Dodging means I don't get hit at all, then why would I guard? Especially because in this instance, guarding means you still take damage. Unless if you guard perfectly. So again, it's sort of the playstyle that favors aggression, right? Because if you're aggressive, you can get HP back by guarding more and all that. So the guard regain, is it, um, is it the blue meter on top left? It's not draining. Whoa! Oh, I, I, got, I gotta lock on first. <laughs> Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it in the favor of trying new things. When's the correct timing? Not that. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll try a pulse. Should I try a pulse cell already? I'm wondering if it takes time to eat too. Or is it like a, I click on it and then it immediately takes it? it takes a little bit of time. Not a lot, but a little bit. 
VN line to all parts of the world. The next, Benigni. You are something tomorrow. I know there's some really menacing noises behind us right now. I'm gonna try my best to ignore it. <laughs> it's a big train station. All the trains are cancelled except for the last one, Blue Ferry. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, aside from this location, there were a few places I haven't checked earlier yet, but, um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, I can lock on from pretty far. That's not even the guy making the noise. Rear fatal attack. But he didn't die in one hit, though. That didn't seem very fatal. Excuse me, who's making the noise? Would you please keep it down? It's probably late at night right now. They're disturbing the... the other guests at the train station. I'm gonna try again. I just accidentally spammed my pulse cells. A dream of becoming a real girl. Herald Theater. Rosa Isabel Street. The Grand Exhibition. Yeah, okay, so we don't have any... We don't have any... Health anymore. HP potions. So that's great. <laughs> Passenger's note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Oh, I, I clicked on it just now. Did I click on it too late? How do I read that again? Um... By the way, I'm paused here, right? I feel like this is something I have to wonder about these days. <laughs> Great sort of the fate handle. Um, lots of stats. Okay, very cool. Blade, legion arm. Legion arm is my, my left arm. It looks like this has some abilities. Geppetto's name is faintly engraved on them. I am a Geppetto's puppet. Anyway, I'm looking for the... Oh, this is the stuff we got earlier. <laughs> I... Sit. Huh. Gestures, check the ground. Wait, is this game multiplayer? Why do we need gestures? Passenger's note. Oh, this is all it says. If anyone finds his note, get out of the station and run. That's all it says? Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. Alright, great. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. Well, great. Why did we come here? Why did we come here? Interestingly enough, you can have this menu open and walk around at the same time. Okay, uh... Mr. Huge Puppet that's killing people. Could you not? Is that... is that okay? Dash. While dashing... Wait, 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 no, no! That was... I don't think I figured out the whole that. Whoa! If I... If I strike before him, he doesn't get his strike in. That probably only works for the little guys. But yeah, like, you can stop... These smaller guys are weak. They get stopped by us trying to hit them. Fable Catalyst. Chamber of Machina Workshop. Ot Vium Invenium Ot Vacuum. 
Ergo is life. Looks like this should be a pretty nice station if it's cleaned up and stuff. So I did see uh, there was a Mr. Uh, what are you doing down there, Mr.? I don't know. Looks like my pulse cell's charged up. I have one now. Thank God. But uh, that one's not gonna do me much good. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. The bottom right? Is that the durability? Hey, what are those combos at the bottom right? Triangle, triangle, triangle. I think I just wasted something, didn't I? <laughs> okay, let's try that on the guy then, maybe. Lock device. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Go down the ladder? Oh, it's talking about doors and ladders and the same thing. Okay, yep. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't try it earlier. So I probably should open this before talking to that guy. Talking. Because we're gonna be doing talking. Yes. Hey, well, aren't we supposed to have stuff that are like, uh, campfires or something? <laughs> so if the- if the worst happens, we can still make it out and try again. Oh, she's so black. Like, why is her corpse so blackened? How did they die? Is it fire? Anyway, I, uh, we, we can worry about this after our problem is resolved. <laughs> uh, hi? Staggerable. Hold for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the HP bar of the enemy. When that happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charge attack. Or with Fable Arts. <laughs> What's Fable Arts? What I tried earlier? Okay, hold. I have to hold. Oh! Lie or die. Well, kind of saw that one coming. Didn't even use my pulse cell. I think I would have gotten it already if it wasn't trying to tell me to use that staggerable thing. Right, so now we come back here, which is what I expected. And everyone that I saw before respawns. Uh, the 611 Ergo Fragments, I have to go pick it up, right? If I don't pick it up, it'll be gone. So that's the only difficult guy up until now. What we can do is probably just run to that guy. We'll have to refight everybody again, though, I'm guessing. I got like one sliver of health left, but... <laughs> I was trying to do the charging thingy. The door is still open, thank goodness. So normally... I mean, normally when I play non-Soulsy games, I guess, a, a failure, a death, is usually not a good thing. But the kind of mindset of people who play stuff like this is what? It's, uh... Well, if you're... if you fail, it means you're not doing something optimally right now. And that's a chance for improvement. So let's try to look at it like that. We didn't gain anything of value, so we should just try to... Oh, we should pick that up first. I need to get closer faster! Fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy plus R1. Fatal attack can be performed on staggered enemies. If successful, it can inflict heavy damage. Okay. Thank you for giving me your key. 
Okay, but that was totally like um in the beginning for the first few seconds. I was still trying to do like a slowly more controlled kind of thing. But for towards the end there, I'm like, okay, you know what? Just spam. And then it kind of worked out because it's still the beginning right now, I guess. Look at my health. Not looking good. <laughs> Alright. What were you doing here? You were just attacking the people or something? Okay, attack enemies with a weapon to charge your pulse cells. Alright, got you, got you. The stuff I pick up... Wait, so what is the grind... The grinder and all that? Throwing objects. You're gonna teach me all of these, right? Are you? I'm expecting you to. But like, there's... There's a lot going on here. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll see. Now, do we want to quickly fight those guys again so we can get stuff? Because you're here. You're still here. And these guys are easy enough that I don't need to do anything. Okay, not when there's multiple though, maybe. Oh, oh. Yeah, look at me. I got hit twice there. Not good. We don't actually need to come here. I just... Wait, I want to try that... What was that dashing thing you mentioned earlier? We need to get in closer. Yeah, faster. Oh, the fatal attack thing. Oh my god! Hi! I'm trying to figure out which button it is to jump. Like, they- there was a very quick prompt earlier, but I don't seem to be able to, um, activate it again. Controller, maybe? Forward jump L3. Does jumping really even help? I don't know. Maybe we'll just try, uh, try to figure it out. It's the same weapon, right? You. That's mine now. Another Mr. Dude here. Whoa, you can attack me across the staircase like that? That's not cool. My blocking. The timings. I'm not very used to it. Sawtooth wheel. Anyway. Uh, oh, there was one more guy in the bathroom. Might as well try to get him, I guess. So I don't think the blue bar is the guard regain then, because... Hi. Hi. I'm trying to... Yeah, because the... The blue bar is what determines if I can do those bottom right things, which I'm guessing is the... What did they call it earlier? Something arts. Fable arts. All right. Now I can get in. Welcome to Krat. Sign says. What happened at Krat? Oh no. Butterfly lady? Stargazer. Oh! Ah, this is the... This is the campfire? Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember this process also revives enemies, not just your character. Oh, I said I didn't play any Dark Souls games earlier. I guess the closest thing I've played is Hollow Knight. But that's 2D, so maybe that's a little different. This is called a Stargazer. A marvelous device the Stalkers used in the past. Warning. Public doors will exceed danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, 
we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Okay. Level up vitality vi vitality. Vig okay, you, uh, are you gonna tell me? Oh, okay. So vitality is HP and guard regain. Vigor is stamina. Capacity is legion and weight. I'm gonna be real though. Like I don't really generally enjoy looking at <laughs> and crafting out a build and looking at all these numbers and stuff. I don't know how much it is dependent on what my success in the game will be. Stamina. Guard regain. Wait, how many points do I have right now? Oh, it just depends on the ergo I have. I see. Okay. Vigor at 5. Is that a little low? Technique. Physical attack. Attacking increasing. I mean, faster way to finish the battle, right? If we can kill people faster. Defense is advance. Motivity. Oh, motivity and technique are the same thing? I'm looking at the highlights. They look like the exact same thing. And what's the difference? Maybe I'll do a little bit here. Okay, it changes the stats differently. If I do two points in technique, it does... What? Plus two? If I do two points in motivity, it does plus eight. But that much is because motivity is at 13 and technique is at five. I don't know yet, but I'll... Do this for now, maybe. Wait. Capacity? Vitality? Stamina. Okay. That's fine, I guess. You can get more. It doesn't seem like the resource is that rare. We just got 2,000 of it. So I don't think we need to be too stingy about it. Storage. I can't store pulse cells. Monad's lamp increases brightness upon use. What? Do not be afraid even if you get lost in the fog. The cricket guide will be with you. Increases brightness? Uh, okay. Fable Catalyst. Supplement puppet abilities. Rapidly recharges Fable. I see. I see. The blue blue stuff that gives me abilities. Thermite. A thermite bomb that can be thrown. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. Grinder repairs weapon durability. When durability falls to zero, attack decreases and the weapon cannot be repaired with a grinder. Is the grinder permanent? Last resort. Immediate character death upon use. Oh! Dies upon use. The old man feared the possibility of his son failing to awaken properly and going into a frenzy. This initialization device was made as a necessary evil for delicate readjustments. Under what kind of circumstances would you want to die? Hmm. Sawtooth wheel. Throwing objects. Okay. Uh, my bag? How much space do I have in my bag? Do I want to put away... This stuff for now? Um... Hmm... Oh! Oh, the fragments are... Ah! The currency is called Ergo. The fragment means a hundred of those currencies. Okay, okay. I see, I think. Alright. So, does my durability also go back to 100 if I use the Stargazer? I'm looking at the bar at the bottom right right now, and it seems like it's up again. Right, ah! This is the animation for repairing. Increasing durability, I guess? Okay. I see. They haven't said anything about the left arm of steel yet. I don't know if I should really be looking into it too much. Hello! 
Oh, just go in. <laughs> Realistically, I should really be using these smaller dudes as a way to learn the timings properly. But I just want to get rid of you and go. Oh, God! Dogs. Puppet dogs. Robot dogs. Any one of them can wake up. That's not good. Multiple dudes there. Can we not fight both of them at once? in there or something vivid ergo fragment so i think i have to do i have to use those to get the ergo i think so but if i use it and then i die i lose it so i should really only use it near the stargazer right i think i'm just talking out loud i'm thinking out loud i don't know if this is correct or incorrect <laughs> I think I got a, a perfect guard there. Okay, that's good. Get the most loyal servant. Okay, use a belt item. You can use a throwing object for a long range attack. Uh, if I press square right now, isn't that gonna... That's gonna use a pulse cell, isn't it? That's what I'm scared about. What? I can't go in here anyway. Okay, hold up. You mentioned belt attack. Oh, the stuff that I put back in the storage earlier, the wheels and stuff, I can probably equip something here. If I want to, right? But I just put it back in, so I don't think I'll be able to- Oh, I just got a new one. Sawtooth wheel, like that. And then I can change it. Okay, we can try next time. <laughs> uh. Going to the hotel? Oh yeah, something about that. <laughs> uh, okay. How far is the hotel? Oh! Hey, that's a way to tell if someone's fake. Fake deathing or not. Oh, how convenient. Oh! Oh god, they can do that? I think right now, my timings are probably routinely still too early. Okay, there's two people, we gotta go! Fable Arts. Use Handle Fable Arts. While guarding. So this is related to the weapon I have. third one here. Yikes. Wait, so because of the whole recharging my pulse cell thing, does that mean that even though my health isn't that low right now, I should be using that third cell so that I can recharge? Crab times- oh, hold up. Crab times, issue 183. The crack grand exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Benigni Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. Oh, the puppets went crazy. And they're killing people. And they're made by the Venigni Company? A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with a puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, 
Many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. In a time like this, I'm coming in because Sophia, Butterfly Lady said, come please save us, Geppetto's puppets or whatever. Okay, I think I'm just gonna use the Pulse Cell then. I know, I'm aware I can just go back to the Stargazer, but everyone's gonna get revived again, right? So let me just test out if this, this theory works. Yeah, and then we can press R3 every now and then and see if we lock onto anybody. Hello? I'm still generally using the quick attack, not the charge attack. Wonder if that's a good thing. But the quick attack is... It's not that fast. This one's even... That one's lower. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, look at the weapon durability. It went back up. I see, I see. I don't know what the lamp is for, though, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Oh, hello! Oh, I had that little fatal thingy. Uh-oh. Hi, friend. Not if I attack you first. Huh, if we went down the other way... This guy would have been shooting at us for sure. Oh, hi! Oh, what the hell are you doing? Still trying to attack the people of this town? There was a newspaper earlier. So the puppets are generally servants and now there's a servant uprising. VN line. Travel all over the world. Am I? made from this company then? Or am I like a special puppet? Oh! Oh! I'm going! Excuse me! I'm trying to read the newspaper. Oh, let's try using a long-range attack later. Huh. Homo Machina. Oh, Homo Machina. Like Homo Sapien, but Machina. Wait, that pulse cell thing that I just mentioned, I don't think it's really recharging, right? Oh, it probably only works for the last cell. Ah, oh, so I probably should have went back to the Stargazer earlier. That's okay. That's how you learn, right? I'm scared there might be people around the corner, just like in the bathroom earlier. <laughs> Am I gonna get rusted? I just feel like all this this rainwater can't be good for my joints. Well, that didn't work out very well. It's just a C here. Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack. You cannot dodge or guard. You cannot dodge? You can't- it Oh my god! <laughs> you can counter it with a perfect guard! Oh yeah, that's so easy for you to say. So these are the guys that force us to practice perfect guards and only perfect guards. Which I did not do. Okay. All right. Oh no! No, 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 this. Huh. To use between, like, to switch between the usable items, I gotta go like that first, so it's a bit like... I gotta remember it. I should've started out with that long-range thing. We can still guard it. 
Yeah, we can still guard against it. To lower damage. But if you can't dodge it, so I guess for those guys, it's better. Whoa, 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 whoa. For those guys, it's always gonna be better to guard. Because dodging's not gonna work. Hey, dude. Oh, he's still alive! He's still alive! Uh, I don't want to talk to that dog right now. <laughs> where is the next stargazer? N not where the dog is, probably. I'm a little bit... Okay, attack enemies with a weapon. Okay, let let's try it. Let <laughs> we gotta look at it, right? Or something like that. I should be closer when that happens. Oh, thank god he missed. Um, where is the next stargazer? <laughs> Do we really not have a map? Where the hell are we? Just walking through... A million different places. Benini's urgent repair tool. Oh yeah. Well, we gotta repair it so often. If it becomes broken in the middle of a battle, that would be bad. Oh my god. You don't have a head. You do not have a head. I haven't tried the Handle Fable Arts yet. Maybe next time? Over here? What is that? I don't know what that was. Is that a guard? Oh, I think it's a guard. Yeah, I wasted it. We have very limited stamina, too. That's also something to note. Oh, okay. Ah, see, when we have one pulse cell left, then I do believe that using it would be good, so that we can do the recharge thing. Okay, hold on. Just now? It did like a consecutive... Ah, the charge does two quick shots, I see. I see, I see, that's why... We can start out with that, then. If we get close enough. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, we, uh, I would really like to see another stargazer if you'd let me. Where did we come from? Where the hell- <laughs> Um, hold up. Right, this is where we picked up the ultimate repair tool, or whatever. Thank you. Okay, back to the main road here. Can we get out of the rain? This can't be good for my body. Destination Hotel Grind. Optimal location for observing the destination. Am I supposed to be able to get over here? Because earlier they tried to teach me how to jump. So I'm just wondering if that's related to what we're trying to do here. Okay, I figured out how to jump. It's pressing L3, but I don't think you were supposed to be able to jump past this. That means we're supposed to go another way. Here? I don't think we've been here. Oh, we already got the people down there, though. But there's a down attack, I see. Cool. Here? Oh, okay, this looks... right.
Thank you. Is this the beginning, or am I going backwards, or I'm trying to figure this out? Okay, this is back to where the Stargazer is. I see. Mm. Do we want to go back to the Stargazer? I guess so, to get more pulse cells. Sure. While understanding that more people are going to respond if I do that, yes. But we can get some upgrades, too. So before I touch this, hold up. I just want to see. Those fragments I got, how do I use them? Do I just click on them? It's a power source. Okay, let's see. Use. I hope we don't need it for more stuff later. Yeah, we just get free... Free, not free. But, you know. We're trading it in for the money it's meant to be. Okay. So we can level up here. I guess increasing... You know, this can never be a bad thing, right? Physical attack. Legion arm attacks. But it would be nice to have... Oh, I have no direction right now in terms of like what's good and what's not. <laughs> Zero direction. It's kind of hard, even though they give you the breakdown in terms of numbers and stuff, but unless if you, like, very scientifically test out every- each little thing, it, the number- it's hard for me to see what it does, actually. Yeah, okay. I'll sit like this for a while. Sounds good to me. And I guess I'll take out the... The Fable Catalysts. Rapidly recharges Fable. So we probably want that in our- our slots, too. Mm. Extra bag. Yeah, there was a way to activate the extra bag. Oh, no, no, oh, I was standing right in front of the stargazer. Oh, oh, shit! I'm sorry, I... Okay, we're just gonna use the stargazer again. <laughs> Hold up, I was busy doing stuff, god. Okay, so I was looking at the extra bag, I see. If I hold X... Ah, then I can use the stuff, it's like a quick slot kind of thing, I see. I see, I see, I see. Which might be more convenient, honestly, than having to cycle stuff... ...like this. You know what I mean? It just... It's not that convenient, trying to find the right thing. Hmm. In that case, what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna switch the durability thingy. How do I change the slots? Can I change which slot it's at? I'll put it here instead. Yeah, because I'm th my thinking is the health, I'm always gonna need it. So this is gonna be health for sure, all the time. But when it's not busy, I can switch it to the grinder. And then the bottom here, I can use throwing weapons, whatever. Thermite, bombs, sure. And then this, this lamp thing, I have no idea what it is. It just illuminates the darkness. Oh! It's to tell me where to go, the next place to go? Maybe? Let's try it. Wow, that... Wait, it just turns the light on, that's it? Oh, it... <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, I guess I'll keep it on. And... Now we go. I don't know what I'm doing here, man. I need to get back to the gate that we just opened earlier. That would probably be a good idea. Okay. Oh, wasn't that the gate I opened? Was it a different gate? It must have been. Buddy. Oh, I didn't have stamina. Hmm. Right. I didn't have enough stamina to go in so aggressively like that. It's a balance between aggression. Aggression with tactics. It's not just plain aggression. Ah, the... I think... 
the gate was here. Okay, we're not gonna see another Stargazer for a bit, maybe, but we got easier access to the current Stargazer. We have not been here before. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance, and that's the only way in. Great. So please, be careful. Is it more powerful than... Is that guy just standing on a... Can that guy move? Because if he can't, I'm gonna focus on the other guy. Wait, the other guy. Oh! Oh, it was right here! Didn't have to go all the way back. Uh, who are these people? Hello there! Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Okay. Out here alone? You could use some. Oh! Help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Where's my gift? Where's my gift? This is, it's not a gift if you're making me pay for it, okay? <laughs> ah, the stuff we buy uses the same currency as the leveling up? Is that what I'm looking at? Okay, let's start from the beginning. Throwing cell. Throwing stuff, it's a, like a bomb or something. Electric blitz abrasive. Temporarily imbues weapon with electric blaze. So it's a uh, effect. Okay. This is a weapon. Puppet saber blade. Can disassemble. Because it's a saber blade plus saber handle. It's a combination. I'm buying them both together. But they're saying you can you can take it apart. How do I is this switch display? Oh wow, there's so many different screens that you can see for this. What the heck? How do I compare it to my current weapon, though? Wouldn't that be more useful? I probably want the greatsword. Yeah, let me just really quickly... So, okay, I'm looking very simply here. Physical attack is 121 plus 28. So, like, 150-ish? What's mine right now? Do I really have to go out? I didn't see a way for me to compare that easily earlier. Greatsword... Wait, greatsword of the fate handle and blade. Isn't that the same as what I have right now? Physical attack, 121 plus 28. I don't have a secondary weapon. I have an arm. I got these defensive parts. Okay, I see. Oh, okay. I become heavier, but physical damage reduction rate is much higher as well. Probably want that. The heaviness doesn't affect how fast I move, right? As long as I don't go over. I guess. For these, I only got one of each. Out here alone? You could use some help. It's not a gift if you're not giving it to me. Oh, it's the exact same thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, I guess. I don't need to do anything. And then you're just it. Ow! Oh, this is practicing. That was a fatal attack. Can you... I'm trying to test out my timings here. Too late. I gotta fo I gotta focus 100% of the time. I sort of roughly have it, but of course the difficulty is that it's different for every creature, right? <laughs> I can't just rely on the guy just standing in front of me. 
Like that. If I lock into an attack, I can't switch to a block. It just follows through on the attack, so if I make a mistake, it'll just commit, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Thank you. Thank you for the practicing ground. Do I have enough for leveling? Mm, not quite. Not quite. Okay, thanks. Nice to have a merchant here. I guess we have people on our side. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the hotel in this one first look today. Maybe we'll make it to the puppet guy at least. Oh, hey! Nice. Parade Puppet! Introducing the Parade Puppet! Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the Grand Exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people! The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. Ooh. Six men? Are they all stacked on top of each other, or like, how, how do we do that? <laughs> this Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Now we know what he looks like. Okay, I gotcha. Um, okay, so another thing I also want to equip... Maybe for my extra bag? We should at least equip some of it, right? E... These Fable Catalysts. In the middle of battle, am I gonna be like, Oh my god, I'm panicking! Okay, uh, open, open this and then take the thing. It's more likely than me scrolling through like this, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest? Yeah. Alrighty, let's move on then. What happened to using the key? If we could do that, why were we using the key for the other one at the station? <laughs> oh dear, okay. I thought we had a bit of time left still. No. What are you saying? Oh, I don't think I can block that. to use the throwing stuff first. Lie or die. I don't know why this is called Lies of P, by the way. Someone named P. They mentioned P organ earlier. Okay, it's gonna be my goal to beat this guy then. I don't think... How hard will I have to try? Mm. Upon dying in the boss area. If you die in a boss battle, Death Ergo is created at the entrance. Thank you! Yeah, as opposed to being exactly where I died, because in that case, it's possible that I'll die before I even go back there, right? Ah, see, we die, but all of my- all of the long-range stuff is gone. They don't come back. So that's one thing to note. 
In the middle of battle, are we gonna have weapon durability issues? I'm just thinking, maybe it's a good time to use these Fable Catalysts. Let me see if I can do it without it, though, because I feel like we'll probably learn a little bit more that way. I think we got it down to maybe half health there, but with a lot of, like, Fable Arts spamming and all that. I'm not even used to sprinting, to be honest. I got one parry in earlier. Ooh! So excited about that. waste. I think I have to get used to sprinting faster. to learn when to heal properly too. Staggerable. We're slowly getting closer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, something, something started clicking there. So that was my actual third attempt. I don't usually keep all of them in because I feel like it might get kind of boring and repetitive, but something started clicking by the end of that battle. Up until that point, I was trying to get cheap shots in. But like by the end here, I was suddenly like, oh, okay, well, actually I have to be respecting him, right? I gotta respect that he's... Um, 
it's not that I'm the one making the first move. He is the one making the first move. And I'm responding to that. That seems to work better. Because then, I guess if I kept trying to attack him, the one thing that kept happening was that, yeah, I can attack him, but then I don't have time to block his attack towards me. Because I'm trying to attack him while he's attacking me. But if I wait for him to attack, and then try my best to guard against that, whether it's a perfect guard or not, I'm still gonna reduce the damage that gets done to me, right? And then I attack? That seemed to work a lot better. Okay. Cool. It did end up using all of my pulse cells and all that. I can't go back, right? You're not gonna respawn, I think. Hopefully, anyway. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's the kind of thing about these things. These roadblocks, you get better eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> Cool. Wow, that battle used up half of my weapon durability already. Hmm. So I guess normally in battle, like if it's a really hard boss, is there a possibility that we have to worry about switching... Like switching weapons in the middle, just so we have time to fix the durability and all that? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Can I make it to the hotel? I'm curious. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Let's make this a bit of a longer first look today. I'm just gonna see. Yeah, I I completely forgot about my left arm of steel. <laughs> I just realized that. So far, what I can tell is that the the fable arts might be good to use as a clutch. If I'm really like panicked, it might be good to use that to reset a little bit. I gotta get used to sprinting by the way. This whole like pressing what is it? Pressing pressing circle and L3. Not very used to it. Hmm. Are you alive? No. Is there even anybody alive left in this place anymore? Maybe they're all at the hotel. It's possible. There's a siege going on and all the puppets are outside trying to get them. Something like that. But then the lady came to me in a butterfly, so that's kind of... Oh, I'm sorry, you're alive! Good. I was gonna attack you just now. <laughs> I don't think people want you to enter. Hotel Krat. The greatest- wait! WAIT! The greatest luxury you will ever experience. Treat your- Do they really expect you to finish reading that? <laughs> Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Hmm. Fancy hotel? One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. What do you mean? Wait, I am a puppet, but I have like... I have elements that try to tell people that I'm not a puppet. I have flesh. Is that what they mean by lying? Lie or die. Hey, is that why they're attacking me? Because they think I'm human? Well, in that case, why are we not telling them I'm a puppet then? I don't want to attack them. And I don't want them to attack me. Hold up, okay. The one thing about having to use two buttons for sprinting is that I can't change the camera angle while I'm sprinting. Like, I, I can't... I don't have that many fingers. I gotta... Oh, I'm, I'm holding it in a really weird way right now. But, um... Yeah, puppets. Puppets, man. Are there different kinds of puppets? Some of them seem... more darkened. Some of them are whiter. Are you all gone? Y'all dead? Hidden Moonstone. Not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement material. You don't actually want me to read it. <laughs> Probably because most people who play Souls games... Uh... I assume... Story is not what we're here for. Not the main thing anyway. But here I do get the sense that the story is important. Prove your identity. 
I am. I have to lie. I am a puppet. Grand covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. I broke it. Welcome to Hotel Crud. Your springs are reacting. What is that? Okay. Oh, now we get the title screen. Lies of Pay. I keep wanting to say Lies of Pie. I don't know why. I just want it to rhyme. Oh, this is a Korean game. Is it? I hadn't realized. I see, I see. Puppet factory. Kind of like a steampunky sort of era. And then puppets were... Hmm, the servants. Like the newspaper said. City of Tomorrow, Krat. Maybe they're particularly known for their puppet inventions. Oh, look at that. Can they coexist in peace? Humans and puppets? No! But what's the reason? What's the reason for the uprising? Is it because their code has gone wrong? It's just a malfunction? Or are they feeling something more primal? For humans, something like, I don't want to be a servant anymore, so I'm gonna... Puppet rights! Equal puppet rights! Is that what they're thinking? Okay, yeah, stuff like that seems very deliberate. Killing people and then putting them like that. It's like, it's like a more intelligent sort of killing. It's not just barbarism. Hotel. Oh, hey, lady. Human lady. Sophia. I'm so happy to see you. Well, you're more anime than I thought you'd be. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croc to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers, but we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Okay. Leveling up. You can level up through Sophia using Ergo. Just she's like a stargazer. Okay. Alright. I feel like, right now, mm, us being able to kill stuff faster is probably better for us than increasing health obsessively. But I, I might increase it a little bit. I don't know about the vigor, physical, how much damage do we get hit by, and stamina. Stamina is important too. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna do whatever then, as usual. Is there no place for me to change my Ergo Fragments to Ergo on the screen? No? Because it looks like that's what it says. Current Ergo at the very bottom here, but I, I can't seem to transfer it right here. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. The 
that's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon Phase Pocket Watch with Mystical Power turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. I'll use my power to help you. About Ergo. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. About Monad's lamp. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. So is this place sort of like a last bastion of the humans or what? I don't know why, but I when she told me to come here, I was expecting this place to be completely broken down and dilapidated and all that. But it's actually quite extravagant. And they seem to be doing pretty well here. Just within this building. Thank you. This lady. She kind of looks like she's pregnant. <laughs> it looks like a maternity dress. <gasps> okay. Are you human? Gemini. Are you Gemini? No, you're the stargazer. Ah! Oh, teleportation. You can transfer from one stargazer to another. You can only do it for those you've activated. Stargazers in areas with an event will be marked with a hint. Saracini Alley. Krat, Central Station Plaza. I see, I see. Hello. Welcome to Hotel Krat. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Krat, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? I thought me having flesh and trying to pass for a human was a me specific trait. But this person has a human face too. Uh, this puppet. So that's not it. What's the thing that makes me special? I'm not sure yet. Can you tell me about the Grand Covenant? The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? If I can lie... Wait, what do you mean cannot though? Cannot means ability. It does not mean... Permission. Is that what makes me special? Because I can lie? But it also said puppets can't hurt humans, and that is clearly not the case anymore. What do you sell? Fable catalysts, of which I've still not used even one. Legion charge. This is probably what refills my bar for the arm, the left arm. I guess quartz. P organ ability activation part. P organ. I have no idea what those things are. Keep it in mind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, you got a you got a nice place here. Can we look around? Oh, hello. We've got quite a few people here. You are a human? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Is it gonna cost? Oh! Oh! Thank 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Legion arm. A special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. They can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made at the Vanini craft machine. I don't know why for some reason when I look at the people they have here, I'm suddenly like, oh yeah, it looks like a Korean game. Maybe it's just the way they they make Asians. It's a little bit different from anime, a Japanese anime, because it's not very anime-ish. It's more leaning towards realistic humans. There's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of cat statues, but the two on the left there are dogs. What gives? Very cute though. Oh no, the one in the middle is a dog as well. But the cat's not. <laughs> it's like a statue. It's not moving. <laughs> Did you have more you wanted to say? The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I am Special Puppet because I'm made by Geppetto. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? I'm like extra cool and extra strong and stuff. About Stargazer. A Stargazer is a survival device used by the Stalkers. Stalkers? It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The Stalkers installed Stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. Okay. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The Stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. Oh, the implication that I, I would be pretty upset because, hey, why are you using puppets of all things as dummy bags or sandbags? Hmm. A puppet I don't find... Uh, lots of games have puppets that you can use as training. I feel like actual combat is the only way you can learn that much, though. A puppet will never fight back the way you want it to. Upgrade weapon. If you have a moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. Um, I have some concerns about immediately using the moonstone because I just... Like, this is my beginning weapon. I don't know if I'll get another one. That's what I'm a little bit afraid of. Because it'll be a waste if I use it on the beginning thing, right? But I think I should anyway... I don't know how rare those moonstones are. Okay. Take some ergo as well. Now it's a plus one. Great sword of fate blade. Hmm. Theoretically, theoretically, if you're really, really good and you dodge everything, you block everything perfectly, doesn't even matter what kind of weapon you have, right? But that's not, I mean, that's not the kind of player I am. <laughs> Alter Handle. You can bring Eugenie cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your... Oh, each handle's property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change this property and grade one time with a handle alteration. You can always reset it with a balanced crank. I don't have a crank. Okay, so... Motivity crank, technique crank, advanced crank. I see. Well, I don't have one anyway, and I don't know what's good, so feel free to do whatever. Alright, anybody else around here? Oh, the garden. The puppet. View the guide again. Menu settings guide. Menu settings guide. Oh, all the pop-ups. Okay, cool. Cool. This is a defending bot. Oh god, they're actually using one of our kind though. It's not even like a dummy. Fatal attack. Face. Yeah, like that. That's a fatal attack. I don't think I really pulled it off on the boss earlier, but... 
It doesn't have a stagger bar, though, it, so it just sort of... It, when we know, we have to wait for that white outline, basically. Oh, what the heck. Yeah, like, when it's so static and easy like that, of course I can block it. But that's not a real battle, that's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem that I kept running into, because I was too busy attacking. The end of the attacking animation would always play out a little bit too long for me to get back into a block again. So that's the whole thing about respecting, respecting my enemies, right? It's much better for me to block and then... Yeah, and I can't try to get more shots in than it's possible to. Just get what I can in? Much safer like this. The moment I try to get one more shot in, it's already too much. Maybe I can try like that. Maybe I can get a charged attack in. Okay, cool. I guess you can learn a little bit from these puppets. But are you going to actually let me read it? <laughs> Great fortune to all visitors. Rest for all travelers. Blessings to all friends. But who's considered a friend? Are puppets your friends? Or are we not? Oh, puppet string. Ooh! It's like a ranged kind of attack. So that's... Did, did she switch out my thing entirely? Hold up. Materials... Legion arm. Yeah, right, right, right. It's a completely different one. The weight changed. Motivity. Technique. Advance. It's got A, B, C, D ranks. Can I change this myself? No, I have to go back to her to change it. Can I just upgrade it? myself. Oh. Oh, this is the... It's the thing we saw earlier. Yeah. Why is there a, an icon on it? Can I still read it in some way? Yeah, I don't know why there's a little blue icon on it. Okay. Rare Ergo. 5,000! From the Parade Master. Okay, I'll, I'll maybe leave it alone for now. Let's look around. That's where I came in from. Wanna check out this side? Hello? Unexpected guests are Antonia. We don't insist on reservations. I... I'm Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the George Geppetto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory. Show off clothes. Oh, these are gestures. Equip it on your belt or extra bag. Yes, but why do I want to do those gestures, though? Is that just for fun? Or does it have an actual purpose, is what I wonder about. Check ground. <laughs> show off clothes. Okay, let's, let's show off clothes. Yeah, you look so handsome. Oh yeah, look at your dirty ass dress shirt that you haven't washed for five days. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. 
What are you curious about? Ooh, lying. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. Lying. Yeah, lying is my... Well, then what about um your puppet by the reception? Can he lie as well, or did you build him inside here? I am an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. But not him, Make though. Yourself at home. <laughs> You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, please go find Geppetto. But if we don't find him, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> All right, lady. Don't be so quick to write off my creator. I think I'd probably like to find him as well. Alive. Do I remember him? Do I... Am I fond of him? I'm gonna arbitrarily assume so for now. It might not be true. Let's have a look at upstairs. It's a very fancy place. A fanciful place, for sure. Somebody here? It's locked tight. I know you can get through that. I've seen it already, okay? You better get through that. No, oh, I can't- I can't use a puppet string on it. <laughs> hey, how come my puppet string- Oh, I just can't use my weapons at all on this floor. Okay. Fine, be that way. Hmm, people not making repairs? Alright. You need Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. Alright. Hmm. Okay, it looks like that might be it for the hotel here then, at least for now. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting. So again, this is like basically my first exposure to a Souls-like game, I guess. That's of the 3D variety, not counting Hollow Knight. And oh, oh, there's a cat up here. Hello, kitty. Yeah, cute kitty. What am I investigating? Oh, the cat? No! Kitty! Oh, <laughs> why are you leaving me? Why did you leave? Oh, <laughs> I'm sad now! If I didn't try to investigate, it would still be here! Oh. Sorry, or something. Valentina, please tell me how to get the cat back. Okay. This is interesting. Even though I've never played a Souls game, I feel like I've played enough adjacent games that I do understand the basic mechanics and systems here. And I'm curious about the story too, the whole lying and puppets and whatever going on here. Although, I'm still a little bit half and half on how big of a role the story plays. Some games have a story basically just to get you through the gameplay. I feel like, based on the vibes I'm getting, it's a little bit more than that, but at the same time, they're also doing, like, the bare minimum on facial animation <laughs> when we were talking to the Sophia lady and all, so I'm I'm kind of like, mm. But I, I do like what I've seen so far, the puppet uprising and all that. If we go back a little bit to why I haven't played any Souls games to begin with, probably the two biggest factors is that uh, I... Well, it's a big, big time investment, both as a video game player and as a content creator. And then... Also because I don't know if I really enjoy the um, things that people find rewarding about these type of games. Everything is always competing for our time, and I just think about how if I only have one or two hours to play video games in a day, and I spend that grinding out a boss, versus another game where I can be making two hours of progress, which one would I prefer? Adding the, the content creation perspective to it where I need to produce videos out from my playthrough, 
Mmm, that does make things a lot more difficult. And plus, like, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of people like these games because they love the feeling of practicing and improving and getting better and overcoming obstacles and challenges and all that. Personally, I don't know if I find grinding out a boss, that sort of thing, really that rewarding. The most difficult video game bosses I've played are probably God of War, the latest two God of War games, Sigrun and Gna. Both of them took me multiple hours of practicing and I eventually got it, but I just did it because it was like going down a checklist in a game that I enjoyed playing, where the purpose of the game, the main purpose, was not to do this sort of thing. Whereas in Souls games, that seems to be the main focus, so I, I don't know. I mean, even after defeating Sigrun and Gana, I was like, Yay! Okay, check this this thing off my list. <laughs> so, um, hmm, I, I wonder. I will say I really enjoyed my time with Lies of P so far, though. We did about an hour and a half. But that just might be because the Puppet Master didn't take me three hours to beat. And then I think about how that sort of thing might come up multiple, multiple times in a long game. A game that's longer than the entirety of God of War. Mm, and suddenly I become a lot more hesitant about everything, especially because if I start a playthrough, then I like to get to the end, and then that's a very high-pressure type of commitment. All in all, I did have fun today, though. I can't deny that. From not knowing too much to eventually figuring things out here and there and then defeating the Puppet Master. It was fun. It was. I welcome you to let me know whatever you thought about anything in this video or Lies of P in general in the comments below. So historically, I found that the more I try to explain myself, the more people will try to push back against my reasoning. <laughs> you know, feel free to put whatever you want below, and I'll, I'll take it into consideration. With that said, this was a first look of Lies of P. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!